Sup guys, it is the Cornish Gamer, and welcome back to episode 2 of Civilization 5 Brave New World of Assyria, season 2. So anyway, let's get into this. We're doing, we're dominating on literally which is exactly what I wanted to do. And we are second on soldiers. The only real things I really care about is literacy, soldiers, and GMP, because we need a good GMP to keep up our big military we're building up. So I remember from last time, we were sort of planning an attack on Vienna. So, as you can see, we sort of really need another siege tower, to be honest. We could go for Terracross Army to just double our army, but I'd rather get a gold stable first, because Terracross Army is good, but it just it's so unstable when it comes to gold. Anyway, let's continue. Do I have any trade routes going to Austria? No, good. I don't really want that. Anyway, when do we get that siege tower? And then we'll move in a few of our units. Our golden age should be ending soon. Also, we're getting markets soon, which will already help with the with gold. As you can see, we're only earning plus one now. So it's slowly going to become more difficult to de ha deal with gold. But, you know, as, as we get markets and more... Well, one thing we want to do when it comes to the tech tree is we want to rush to techs, to educational or scientific techs and monetary techs because we need the money to maintain our army and then we need the science to keep ahead scientifically. Well, it's, it's, as you can see we're three techs ahead which is great and plus with the science we're generating we'll just keep on plowing through. So we'll get begin currency soon the siege tower will be built in two turns. Currency. Uh, Vienna would all earn more, but you know we sort of wanna. What do they think of us? Um, they think we're okay, which is good. If I just quickly have a look at our advisor council, so yeah, the Germany would be good to attack because how weak they are. But I guess it's sort of good to take out the most military powerful, like um, militarily powerful, I guess. Okay. So. We can head to guilds then. That'll help mon money. So let's go for guilds. As I said, we really want to be rushing towards the money and science techs. I think we'll only really be taking their capital. We might completely take them down, but I'm not really sure. We're only coming up. All the way up there. But There's lots of people on our continent. There's Syria great at dominating like, people on their, on their own continent. Oh! You watch where you put that settler. You watch it. Because we have two siege towers here, and it'd be a shame if they were going to get in the way. Um, let's go for a market. Uh, siege towers here, just, just to sort of warn them off. Uh, let's sort of just generally start slowly moving our units towards. If they set up a city there, we're attacking it. Simple as. I mean, they would have a lot of balls to sell it there. And if they do sell it anywhere near us, it's just a stupid move on their part, to be honest. Um, anyway, let's move in our siege towers. I guess this is really, this is really the first... Well, apart from my Venice series... Actually, no, don't worry. I'd like to see the first proper attack I've really had in the Civ series, but on my Venice I attack thing. But, as I said, they'll have to have a lot of balls to settle there. And if they do, then we could easily take them down. Um, I sort of want to wait for all the military units to move out of the way, then attack. So if we just wait until they move into a more convenient position, because all we really need to do is just get the siege to. Hmm. We could just attack that first, I guess. If we move that there, that's in range. And if we move into two siege towers, then they're in range. Uh. Let's go ahead. Let's do it. Okay. So, siege towers. Move in. You attack that. We don't actually need this attacking that city. So they can come in and back up our warriors. Because they'll be sending over quite a few of their units over. Especially to attack our warrior. But it should get a promotion after this. 
because the amount of attacks it's you're having to deal with. Yeah, you will, now guys will see the power of the siege towers, especially when they're next year. Also, my unit should look one hit from the siege tower, and it's down. Look, just look, this is just ridiculous. One hit kill on a city. Oh, maybe not. But look at that, guys. This is why the siege towers are OP. I mean, it is like a nine defense city, but the capital's only 14. So, this can just be raised. It really doesn't matter. Um, if we move these guys back, um, we can just let their units come to us, I guess. Or they're just going to retreat. <laughs> it's really up to them. Let's move these guys up here so we get a nice sentry view of the area. Let these guys fortify. And... Uh, these guys, I guess, can move here. I mean, despite the fact that they're a siege unit, they generally do deal good combat strength of 12, whereas warriors only do 8. So even if they do attack us, then it'll still do pretty good damage. Um, I think we'll go for a royal library here to boost up our science. And you see, you guys just saw then the power of the siege towers. I'll probably attack it now. And it'll just give it really a really see. Look, it, it done more damage to them. So it's still a great defensive unit. What should we attach? Should we just destroy that unit? Yeah. And let's just heal up a bit. Move this guy in here. Surround that warrior. Just let it heal up a bit more. Okay, let's move in. Anyway, let's move in. Attack them. Um, should we surround him or should we wait? F yeah, I'm gonna wait for our warrior to heal up. I think we should go for a. Um. I'm actually going to go with a circus, because once we take over the capital city, we can't r simply just raise it, because you can't raise capitals, and it will generate quite a bit of unhappiness until we have a courthouse there, so we generally need to try and maintain our happiness at a stable rate, or a stable sort of... And... Medieval era in 100 BC. Considering in real life it sort of started around 500, that's pretty good. Um, let's attack them. Move in this guy. Get a good view here. Yeah, they, they have quite a few defensive units. They have the um ranged unit there to defend their city. It will be difficult, but I reckon we can do it. It'd be good to rush to education, actually. To get the universities. Oh, damn. Really, Rome? They have some balls. Oh, we'll get a major warmonger penalty, but oh well. Oh, I can deal. I can deal with that. Um. Okay. I think we need to move our siege towers around here, and we need to move in our proper units here, because they're beginning to move in their units now. So if you move them up here, I mean, we have a more higher power unit with them, with them in the composite bowmen. So if we should have to come out. Yeah. Nah. That's when you sort of know you've pretty much won. When they're willing to give up a city and they gem really want peace, that's when you know you can take them down. So let's move in our siege towers. Uh, let's attack these guys. Attack. We're wiping the floor with the Austrians. And this is exactly what I wanted to do, to be honest. And I have a feeling Rome will probably put up an army and try to attack. And maybe even the Germans might sort of get any, a few ideas, but hopefully not. Okay, they're actually attacking our warrior there. So we're going to have to retreat our warrior back. Okay, so now we've got the city surrounded. We should attack. Just look at the strength of that siege unit. Boom. Boom. Might be able to get in a few ranged attacks with our bowmen. I reckon Vienna's going down. 
Let's all worry about the Romans though, because we need to put a city down. They have a composite bowman moving up. But our cities have reasonably high defense, and they don't really have the power of the siege towers. These guys cover against range attacks every day. Because of the range attacks of cities, it's always good to have a counter to them. So let's attack them to minimize the damage to the siege towers. And take the capital. Boom. Look at that. Easy as cake. Okay. I'm going to straight away annex it. We have the happiness to do it. Let's put a courthouse straight away. And does Austria want peace now? Do you want peace? He still sounds really happy. I want gold. Hmm. Which is good. This is my piece. Okay. Cool. First victim down. Um, I'm going to leave maybe one unit here. Let's leave the composite bowman here. Just to defend the city, just in case Austria tried to take it back or someone else's tax. But, you know, let's go back to Ife there. But I'm going to put up heavy defenses around Ravenna. So I have a feeling that the Romans are planning something. Um. That sounds like a good offer to me. Uh, very well. Hmm. Yeah, there's a prize, and... The cover... Yeah, I reckon the Romans will be attacking us. But I reckon we'll be able to defend. Um, coal... Oh, yeah. Finish Liberty. Three great persons. Go for a great scientist. To increase our science. Now we can either discover a free tech or create an academy. I'm going to create an academy because it's sort of best to create an academy early game due to how low science the starting techs are. You know, there's no point in wasting. Also, you get a free work with the city as well, which is good. Um, what should we go for now? Mint would provide plus two gold for. We actually have the money to build up our military a bit, so why not? You know, if we have the chance. We're going to leave our composite bowman here, just in case Vienna does fall under siege from the Romans, which I expect that to be the first city they attack. One thing I'm worried about is that Rome has a very high defense rate due to the fact it's built on a hill, which is not very good at all. But, I reckon we'll be able to take them down. I reckon we need to be more patient with the Romans. Like with the Austrians, we just ran straight in and just took them down. But if I quickly go on to demographics, I believe the Romans actually have the biggest army. So if we are to attack them, we're going to have to put up a big military ourselves. An even bigger one. We sort of just need to let them come to us, if you know what I mean. When it comes to attacking, what I usually do when I'm attacking a Civ more powerful, or when it's a more even battle, is I line up my units around their borders, let them chuck in their units to try and attack attack me, and since I have more units in them, they'll just take them down. And then, yeah, go water to increase the growth rate, and then let them come to us, and then once they've thrown in enough units, you know, just move in for the city. The Germans are our friends. So that decreases the chances of them attacking us, I guess. But there's still a risk. Well, there's still a threat. Still a threat. However, the Romans are a much bigger one. Uh, what was it, Bowman? So we have them down here. Uh, we have a bit more room for bigger military, so let's build a spearman. Be upgraded to pikeman soon. Uh, siege tower, you can go there. We sort of want to attack them reasonably soon before the siege towers sort of become outdated. Okay, like now. They no longer have the biggest military. Probably whoever got the Terracotta army now does. Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, courthouse 28 turns. If we run on production focus, we'll be even quicker. Um. 14. Okay, good. They don't really need to worry about growth too much in that city, so. Ravenna will probably be our first target. Pillage the gold from Ravenna, just raise it, and then move in for their city. We'll probably only send a few new units for Ravenna, 
and we'll but we'll send in the majority of our units towards the actual Romans, like the capital and other cities. One thing I do want to check about the Romans is how many um cities do they actually have? Yep, I'm with the richest, which is a good sign. Spearmen here. Should we build another unit, or should we sort of work on the stability of now of now of our army? No, I mean um, sieve. Let's go for the mint to earn a bit more gold. Demographics now. Not a second. You're our friends. Yeah, yeah. We have a public declaration of friends. You'll pay for this in time, also. Try and scare him off. Clearly, we are not well liked anymore. But I don't blame him. To be fair, Peachy should. I don't think she'll be attacking us anytime soon. Because to be honest, with you, if you were like down to a few units and you have like a really, really powerful. S Actually, wait, scout. I need to use you to scout out the Romans. Council automation. Celts are here. The Celts are the least threat because of how far away they are. They're fine. The Romans, on the other hand, you can tell they're not. You can tell they're not very fond of us. The Germans are no longer really friendly with us. Yeah. They might be attacking us. We have a car advisor council. Yeah, not sure if the Germans have an army at all. And we could move in for the Germans. I mean, it's always an option. But I'm being honest. They have such a low. M yeah, I reckon the Romans will be attacking us anytime soon. But let them attack us and then counter-attack them. I mean, I know it's not FIFA, but you know what I mean. You know, no. I want to go for Circus to increase our happiness. I want you to scout out the Romans. Caran to Hamburg. That mint will be earning more gold soon. Plus two more, I believe. Yeah, so we can see. I think this is Salzburg, the city. No social policy. We also need to sort of keep our culture up as well. We generally just need to build up a stable empire, I guess, and slowly build up a military rather than suddenly expanding it, just like you do with the Terracotta army. So bark them and go around the city. I'd like to get a coastal city. Simply because we could then uh, do we then have another option for attack, which is naval. Choose production. Let's go for amphitheater to get our culture up. Let's let this guy go around. Next turn. Hmm. Yeah, the Romans definitely are planning an attack. Just in case, I'm going to move a Spearman unit to Vienna. Can these guys be upgraded? Yeah, have I got Swordsman yet? No. I'm going to move... No, stuff that. Move Spearman over there, because their city is like, bordering ours now. Contested borders is also another reason for them to hate us. If I can sort of keep the Austrians just at our one city, that'd be nice. I mean, it'd be stupid to attack us. What do you think of us? Oh, yeah, she's not too fond of us. But would you attack? To be honest, I wouldn't. Prague, hello. Uh, I mean, let's keep going around. Let's let the Romans attack us, to be honest. Or if we put off our military enough, we will attack them. Okay. Boom. Okay, so I think they have a city here and here. So the question is, if we are going to attack one, which one should we attack first? The capital's a very high defence, so we definitely will need quite a few units. But Vienna has a relatively high production, since it used to be a capital. So we could build up quite a few units here, if we stuff on top of that hill. Okay, Antium's there. Okay. Oh, they've just built Ballista, which is good against cities. Slightly worrying. Ugh. I'm getting a religion soon, actually. You've discovered education. 
Hooray. Uh, if we could put a r monument here and then research iron working. Okay, so there's Neapolis there. Let's go around Antium and see if they have anything around the other side. Let's go for a market to stabilize the gold. Do we still have a bit of mi bigger military than them? I don't say. Yeah, we need more military units. Yeah, I agree. Wait, what is our advisor going to say? I mean, that's what we find closer to our territory. Yeah. I reckon they're going to be attacking us. I mean, it's sort of obvious. Let's go for a university here. Actually, no. Let's build... Let's build another siege tower, actually. May as well. Let's keep that. I'll go to a pikeman. This will be upgradable soon. We haven't actually got any iron in our borders, actually. Do the Romans have any? Why is there, like, no iron around here? That has a lot of salt, which would be good for happiness. The Germans, however, they have iron. A good amount of it as well. So I'm thinking about attacking the Romans, no, the, the Germans instead, but... I don't think we'd be susceptible to an attack from the Romans if our entire military was off of the Germans. <sighs> this is difficult. Yeah, attacking the Austrians was good, but on the other hand, it wasn't that good because now we're sort of in a dilemma. Iron working. So we can't actually upgrade our units. Just turn that, put that off for production focus. We can't actually upgrade our units, which is a bad thing. Going for the Great Wall would actually be good, because it would stop anyone else from building it. And it means if we were to get attacked by the Romans, or the Germans, it, it would give us more time to move our military into position. I think we'll just attack whoever attacks us, I guess. I'm tempted to attack the Romans. Extremely tempted. But the Germans would be a lot easier. But however, if we took down the Romans, it would be more difficult. But it would definitely be worth it. From what we get out of it, anyway. Anyway, another siege tower. We'll move that towards here, just in case. And we have this guy here, just in case he decides to attack. The Germans, since they don't have a big military, I'm not really preparing for them. Let's build barracks here to actually give XP to our units. I should have actually done that ages ago. Um, let's go for a royal library to produce more science we're still leading on science by a decent amount if we have a look yeah six percent above average which is great most soldiers and most gmp which is the four, three things i'm looking for engineering okay i mean even though we are on only plus two gold it's still something but once we get the um, market in Nineveh, then it'll be good. Nineveh is actually bigger than a sur, and I think it's because there's a jungle around Nineveh, whereas with a sur, it's only really got it's got a bit of desert and just a bit of plains, whereas jungle supplies quite a bit of food. But I reckon I know what we'll do if um we do attack the Romans or if the Romans attack us. We'll use these three units to attack Ravenna. Then, well hold them off here with a few more units which we'll hopefully have just hold them off here then wait for these units here to move up a bit more right wait for these units here to move up or to finish off a and move up get back up from then and then took down neapolis maybe antium then head straight for rome so we've got a general idea of what we're doing but however i think they're going to be attacking us simply because of the amount of units they have but we could easily take down ravenna with these units I can't live on seeks a new national order. Hooray. Nobody cares. These could just go on auto. No. I've used them before I need to, to, need to, to use them for. Um, should we go to university? Let's go for it. Yep. And uh, no surprise, you'll pay for this in time. Oh god. Okay. That was a bit more than I was expecting. Oh my god. Okay. Well, it's a good thing we had that store of gold.
and it's a good thing the AI is stupid. First of all, because they probably won't use those units correctly, we gotta take down these guys. Okay, attack him. Him. Move these guys back. Attack. Move these guys in. And let's move in for Ravenna. Well, Rome, you made a big mistake. You will now die. Um, good if we could attack them, but I guess we could just sort of slow them down here. Production. Let's go for. Let's go for the Great Wall, for obvious reasons. Let's go for commerce to keep the gold going. And let's purchase. Oh, we have to. We have to move the um composite bowman out there. Of what? What? No, I don't want him to move. Oh no, they captured our workers. Um. Okay, how are we going to do this then, guys? First of all, there's Pike, but are probably dead. Oh! Will he survive? They can, we'll get a... Heal instantly. Oh, okay. Siege Child actually did decent damage to them. Considering. Um... We could do that. Anyway, so they've got our worker. We probably need to heal up our pikeman here. You can heal instantly. You move out of there. You move back a bit more. You attack him. Um. You can move in for him. They can't. Oh, I can attack them. Um. Anyway. Attack. Attack. I reckon Ravenna's pretty much dead. I think Caesar knows that as well. Boom. Okay, but Ravenna isn't really the main target. We don't want to let Vienna fall. Because it's a big city and it's an important. Oh, I should have moved them out. I could have pur purchased a unit. I mean, Ravenna's a big city. Um, Vienna's a big city. We don't want to let it fall. But from the looks of things, it might end up doing so. Hopefully not. Hopefully we get another promotion for our pikemen. But I doubt it. No, stay away from our siege tower. Well, actually, it's a good thing we built another siege tower. If we... What's this spearman going to do then? Okay. Let's just attack. You can upgrade to a pikeman, actually. Let's move this guy out. Boom. Let's purchase a comes a bowman, and now we have two bowmen firing on them. And that should be their city there. Really? Okay. That's a bit bull crap. They're like one health. Oh, we, we only get actually get a minor warmonger penalty because they attacked us. Oh, we need to. I need to retreat this guy, but if we do, then they'll start firing on the city. Let's leave this guy in as all like a buffer for them. If we go for physics, then we'll be able to get that. We'll be able to get the, the machinery, so we'll be able to get the crossbowman. And look at Vienna. Shit. Okay, I know exactly what I'm doing. What we need to do is the range units and the ballista can't actually take the city. They can weaken it a lot. Like, don't get me wrong. They're probably dead. Don't get me wrong, they can weaken it a lot, but they can't actually take it. Which means, if we take down the Spearman, and the Roman Warrior, there's no real way of them taking down the city. Great profit, I don't really care about him at the moment, to be honest. 
attack him. Boom. What does the advisor say about the war? Going well when we have a stronger fighting force. Okay, thank you. Attack. And heal instantly and take down the city. And Ravenna is mine. We're going to straight away raise it for obvious reasons. Now, anyway. Follow through with my plan of taking down the melee units. These guys can fire on them. And they can fire on them. Crap, I just I just thought I've just thought if these go all these guys weakened this actually yes, wait. We must keep this pikeman alive. Because due to the um zone of war, what will happen is we're actually almost out of time to record. But what will happen is when this guy moves, he can only move one tile because he's in our sort of like thing of war. Our zo sorry, zone of control. And Okay, I think I know exactly what religious tenants I'm picking, and just moving this guy to back us up over here. And it's actually we can move in a few units to back us up. Let's go for let's go for the Jewish badge. Why not? We'll sign. Um, let's go for that. And wh which one was I thinking about? Where is it? Um, use faith to purchase pre and dash. Hmm. George Wanda for these plus two faith. Plus one, two, each city. That'd be good. Uh, hopefully that pikeman stays alive. If not, it could mean Vienna falls. Okay, so from the looks of things, they didn't attack the pikeman, which is great. But from the looks of things, Vienna will not fall. So now, although it looks bad, all I need to do is take down that warrior, and they can't take the city. It is literally... I'll actually do a bit of an extended episode here, because it's actually quite interesting. Oh, they've already got tourism generating. Um, but it's actually impossible for them to take down the city. So, if we use these guys to actually attack their units now, wait for backup... And we got a great general. So, the tables have turned. Completely. They can't take the city. We're getting back up. A lot of back up. And... It looks as if the Romans... Will be... Well, will, <laughs> it looks as if the Romans have sort of failed their attack, I guess. As long as they don't move in like another sort of unit in his backup, it looks as if we fended them off. We need to try and maintain our happiness now. As I said, look, they can't take the city. No matter how much... They see that they're retreating already, because they know they can't take the city. I'm going to end off the episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed it, because I really, really have enjoyed this episode. Despite us getting attacked, we took down Vienna, we fought off the Romans for now, and it looks as if we are in line to win a science or domination victory. Anyway, um, this has been the Cornish Gamer. Be sure to like, subscribe, share with your friends, add to your favourites, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.